Hello everyone, my name is Barry Gotch. I'm an Autodesk Smoke Certified Instructor and I'm here to take you through a quick demo of Stereo Conforms starting with Final Cut Pro and moving into Autodesk Smoke 2011. So here we go. So the first thing I'm going to do is grab some footage. Now what I've got is uh, some stereo footage that's been rendered out of a 3D application. So I'm just going to go to Import Folder navigate through my directory structure to the stereo footage for Final Cut Pro. So I've loaded the footage. It consists of two shots. I have a left eye and a right eye. I have a close-up and a wide shot. So it's very important to assemble the timeline correctly in Final Cut Pro for their smooth uh, conform in Autodesk Smoke. So what I'm going to do is start with the wide shot and the way we like to order our tracks is having the right eye on V1 and the left eye on V2 because that corresponds how it is in Autodesk Smoke. So I'm just going to bring the right eye down I'm going to let uh, Final Cut Pro auto configure the uh, sequence for the format of the clip. It's SD material, that's ProRes. And we have this 3D scene that's been rendered for us. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the left eye of the seam and turn snapping on and snap that up straight away. And do the same thing with the close angle, the right eye. and with the left eye as well. Okay, so we have our two uh, shots, a close and a wide shot. And what I want to do now, just in addition to this, is I want to maybe trim this up a little bit. And it's important that the um, durations exactly match in your uh, timeline for the conform to work. So we're going to trim this up exactly to the frame. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to sort of trim this back here and then snap that back over here. Grab these two, bring that up here, and then uh, add a dissolve across the two shots. So there's our quick little example of our two shots fading into each other. And we're only looking at the top track, so if I turn off V2, we'll see how the right eye looks. So I'm going to turn both tracks on. And now I'm going to go ahead and export this timeline to Autodesk Smoke. And the way that we do that is through the XML format. XML is fantastic. It's a great interchange format. There's a lot of metadata uh, for the shots, and uh, your clips come across straight away. So, I'm just going to select our sequence, and I'm going to go to File, and I'm going to go to Export XML. I'm going to use version 5, which is the newest version in Final Cut Pro 7, and I'm going to save it back into that same folder. So, Stereo for Final Cut Pro. And there we are. So now, I'm going to switch over to Autodesk Smoke, and this is a, a great thing just to be able to tab between the applications. I've got Autodesk Smoke running here already. And we can see that I've used the gateway here, which is a new feature in 2011, which allows me to view media on uh, external storage. And inside of that folder, as I showed you, I saved the XML. The XML is a sequence that represents the uh, edit information for that's, um, that's holding these four clips. So with the new... Um, drag and drop conform method in Autodesk Smoke 2011. It's quite a simple process. What I'll do um, is I'll go over here to QuickTime and um, just double check our settings. So clip from header. We want clip name from file name. And we're going to go over here to our settings and clip resolution. We're not going to choose it from um, the default, what we're going to do is we're going to select the clip that um, we want the sequence to match to, and I'm going to copy that from the selected clip. So that means the sequence information is going to match exactly to the media information. So now all that remains is to drag and drop the Final Cut Pro XML from through the gateway from my storage into Autodesk Smoke. And you can see it's gone through and it's found all the media. And you can see by that little picture that it's linked up all the media 
inside of that. Now what I've done is swiped over here to the right in the library and you can see that the timeline's been reassembled including the dissolve side of smoke. Well, what we do is we'll load that to the record area. We're set to the record area destination over here. We'll click load and I have a timeline with two tracks on it. But it, smoke is seeing it right now as a layer one and layer two. So I'll just hit escape and get to the viewer and then the way to make this stereo track is to select both tracks holding down the shift key and then under uh, stereo merge under this button it's usually hard commit but stereo merge and then th thus I've created a stereo track now how do we know it's stereo? Well, it doesn't look very much like a stereo but we'll select the view menu and we'll go over here to stereo and voila we'll see our Dubois anaglyph um, mode we also have other modes to look at it in mono, blend, where we can look at the left eye or the right eye completely, or a mix of the two, difference, and difference clamped. But we're just going to stick with the Dubois for the moment. So you can see the timelines come across 100% that I've got my wide left and right. And if I drag across here, you'll see that smoke is automatically uh, enabled the left and right eye as I've set it up in Final Cut Pro that I've had V1 the right eye and V2 the left eye so that's got, come in nicely and it's even brought in that cross dissolve so I'm dissolving between two stereo clips and I also have a lot of editorial functionality even though this is a stereo clip I have a lot of the same controls I would have on a standard uh, clip I can ch trim my dissolves by dragging them and also, um, if I need to, for example, scale the clip, I just select the clip. I can add the axis soft effect, which will allow me to do a lot of great things to it, like rotate it. And in this particular case, I just want to scale it up a little bit. And all of these controls here, this is the mini editor. They're all animatable over time. So there you have it. I've taken a Final Cut Pro timeline. I've created a stereo track, stereo setup in Final Cut Pro and I've used the drag and drop conform in Autodesk Smoke to conform the stereo timeline and then create a stereo tracks out of the left and right eye and then we see the result through the Dubois anaglyph. So that's it for now. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed my presentation.